Well, today's video is going to document the molt cycle of a penultimate male, Pomphobedius platyama, the Brazilian pink bloom bird eater, Nicola. Uh, as you saw during yesterday's feeding video, uh, he had a dark bald spot on the abdomen, and uh, sure enough, <laughs> I just saw him around an hour ago. It's 5:35 uh, p.m. Currently on his back, so he is now molting. Well, at least he's getting prepared to molt. So there he is, and I guess we're going to see how long he takes. All right, now it's 6:34 p.m. As you can see, uh, Nicola is finally starting to molt now. Uh, we can see his new Chloris CRI starting to emerge underneath. You can see the new ones and the old ones. So he was around two or three hours on his back, which is pretty normal for species this size and this age. He's pretty old, around maybe four years old, I think. No, three. See, it's still moving in there. And you can see him moving. So he's pretty much alive. All right, so now I'll check you back within an hour. Just got to do one more lawn, and we'll see how far ahead he's into his molten cycle. Sweet. I'll put some pictures up at the end of the video to show you how awesome uh, he's going to look at right after his molt. We should expect him to have a very hot pink-purple color. I just can't wait to see what he looks like. It's going to be cool. All right, so it's about an hour later. He's finally done, and yep, he is definitely a mature male. You can see his bulbous pedipalps, tibial hooks are right over here. You can barely make him out. So now that uh, he's grooming. Got a good successful molt. Kind of looks really nice looking for a mature male. Oh yeah, definitely you can see his bulbous palps. So I did suspect that he was a penultimate male now. Palphobedius planiyama, mature male. So, um, he's probably going to stay there for a good... Uh, I would say 45 minutes to an hour like that before he decides to uh, flip over. So I'll check you back in about half an hour and we'll see if there's any activity. But at least he did a successful molt and uh, congrats to Nicola. Alright, so now it's 8.45. He is completely done. Uh, you can see that he is a bright purple color to him. He's got a black abdomen, and he's great. So here is his old molt. You can see how well he is different. Now I'll go show you in a minute how to sex uh, your male tea if you have one. So he's definitely mature, so if anyone wants him for a 50-50 breeding loan, uh, message me. Alright, so now we're going to compare molts. Uh, to the green bottle blue female that recently molted to the male Pipariama just now. So you can see they're pretty much similar in size, uh, five and a half inches. So I want to show you the main differences between a male and female. A lot of people have asked me how to sex tees. This is the proven 100% accurate way to sex tees is their molts. So remember I showed you during uh, the green bottle blue molting video uh, that it was a female by that flap right over here. You can, it's plain as day, so it's not hard to uh, miss. Now, if you look at my male P. platyama, you can see the flap is absent. You have your book lungs. You can see that they're very visible, but there's no flap, and you could probably see the upside down U shape embedded inside the molt. So that's how you tell. A male tarantula from a female. So I don't know if I have a ruler. Because I'll give you an idea of how big they were. 
All right, found my ruler. So we're going to see how big he actually is. He's huge. Make no mistake. So we're going to line up the tip of the last leg to the front leg. Okay, so he was about 15 centimeters, which is exactly 6 inches. Holy crap, that is one big T. And I guess we'll compare the green ball blue female. I think she's five and a half. Uh, or 5.75. So, around 13 centimeters. So, yeah, just slightly under six inches. And I'll just show you compared to how big the skin is actually on my hand. If you want to compare that way. Look at that, he cover, his mole covers my hand. Now oh, that's one seriously big tarantula. <laughs> cool. So that's my video of sexing my Palphobedius platyama, a uh, mature male, and his molting sequence and comparison with the green bottle blue mature female molds. Two awesome teas and two awesome molts. And thanks for watching.